Hey everyone, today is January 4th, 2023, the day before my airline training. I'll be vlogging every single day of my airline training to hopefully help you guys that are getting ready to go to the airlines. And since it's the day before, I'm just doing some last minute packing. I got my big suitcase here, got some notebooks, backpack, a lot of dress shoes, of dress clothes, Bun down shirts, a big thick jacket. Since I'll be going to Salt Lake City and it's gonna be freezing, a lot of people say also oh, bring Tide Pods. But like I said, I'll be vlogging every single day and I'll be giving you guys a list of things that you should definitely bring when you're on your training. I'm a little bit nervous, you know? This is something I've been working towards my whole aviation career. I've been wanting to go to the airlines and now I'm here. I don't want to mess it up, you know. I'm definitely nervous and a little bit scared, but I'm gonna just trust the training, work as hard as I can, show you guys what the training is like. Be sure to follow me on this journey. Be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. it means a lot to me. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All right, guys. We finished the first day. We did it. First day complete. Gotta say, training for ATP CTP isn't that hard we watched a lot of videos the instructor was telling us a lot of stories about his flying so overall atp ctp like everyone says it's not that stressful and so far day one it's correct it's not that bad the big thing i'm worried about is the written test there are a lot of questions on shepherd air to memorize to learn so that's a big thing i'm worried about but other than that after day one i'm feeling pretty good a lot less nervous a little bit more confident. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. You're sitting in a room from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., so a lot of sitting. What's nice is you do get a bunch of breaks. You're able to walk around, stretch your legs, talk to other pilots, which is a lot of fun. But that's it for day one. Good morning from Dallas, Texas. Day two of ATP CTP training. Day one was pretty awesome. Like a lot of people say, during your ATP CTP training, it's not that hard. It's pretty chill. You do have a quiz at the end, but during class, your instructor goes through every single question that you will see in the test. So I'm not too worried about that, but there is a written test, which I am a little bit more nervous for. There are a ton of questions in Shepherd Air to go through, and during the test, you will be asked, over a hundred questions. So that's something I will need to do more studying on. Today I've decided I'll show you guys a room tour where we are staying during ATP CTP training. But let me know what else you guys want to see and what you want me to talk about during my stay here in Dallas, Texas during my ATP CTP training. So let me know what you want to see in the comment in the box down below. I'll see you guys later at day two. Look how official it is. All right, guys, let me give you a tour of my hotel room. Currently staying in the La Quinta. Look at this. This is the king bed suite. Fancy. I got my desk area where I'm going to be studying. The couch. My yoga workout area. Place to put my clothes. And this million dollar view of this restaurant here salt grass and the roads oh my gosh such a beautiful day hey guys so i just finished day two of atp ctp training and today was a lot more exhausting you're just sitting in a classroom starting at 8 a.m all the way to 5 p.m and there's a lot of stuff that the instructor is going through stuff that you already know it's just being there and sitting down there for long periods of time that is very exhausting. You're not learning anything too new. As a CFI, everything that the instructor is talking about is stuff that I have already known or learned about. So it's not new information, but just sitting down for such long hours is very exhausting. But afterwards, I and my friend Roel, we went to Asia, Times Square and that was awesome. There was like Chinese New Year festival going on So it was like a night market and we had dim sum. So that was a lot of fun We've been trying out a bunch of different restaurants If you guys are here for ATC TP training and want some awesome Asian food definitely check out Asia Times Square It's an area with a lot of different Asian food and boba. So it's definitely a cool place to check out but 
that's gonna be it for my day two recap on ATP CTP training. Day three of ATP CTP training. Good morning, everyone. Honestly, I'm a little bit over it. It's just a lot of sitting, sitting from 8 a.m. all the way to 5 p.m. going through stuff that I've previously learned already, so it's not anything new. But I'm really excited for the next couple days because that's when we will be doing sims. I got sim on the A320, on the Boeing 737, and on the Embraer Air. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. And you bet I'll be filming my sim. But let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about. Another pro tip is that when you are doing ATP CTP training, so make sure you download the WinHand app so you can collect the points. That's a pro tip. Whatever hotel you're staying at, download the app so you get those free points. But that's going to be it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the update. Bye. Right now is lunchtime. We usually get a 45-minute break for lunch. A lot of people get their food delivered. There's this app called Fuja in the area, which did they deliver food for free, but it's a mandatory 18% of gratuity. So I don't know if that's free or not. There are a lot of restaurant, fast food restaurants in the area where you can order to go. There's Chick-fil-A, Whataburger. Apparently that's a thing in Dallas that's super popular. I had that on the first day, but it was, it was average. I might get a lot of hate for that, but it was, it was average to be honest. There's Chick-fil-A, Panera. And today I got Panera to go. I got this Baja bowl which I'm pretty excited for. So my friend has a car and we've been getting lunch out. So we got Panera. I'm excited, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, but I'm tired, man. It's been a long day. It's actually hasn't been a long day. It's just exhausting sitting for so long. So I'm excited to eat and get back to it. Tomorrow's supposed to be our quiz for this ATP training. So I got to study for that. But that's usually what lunch is like, 45 minute break and people usually get food delivered or if you have a car, you get food nearby. But I'll see you guys later. Last day of ATP CTP ground training. I'm excited that we're not gonna have to be sitting in a classroom for nine hours straight. I'm really relieved, but that means we have a quiz today. But that's something I'm also not too worried about. The instructor gave us things to study and he gave us the qu exact question that's gonna appear on the quiz. So like I said, I'm not too worried about that, but just because we're done with ground training, it does not mean we are done with ATP CTP. After ground training and tomorrow onwards, we're gonna be doing sim. Something I'm very excited and looking forward to. I've never been in a jet sim, so that's something that's gonna be very exciting. I'm still working on Shepard Air. I did a couple practice tests. I got 88 on one and 89 on one. So I'm gonna pass for sure, but I definitely wanna try to raise the score up above 90%. But that's gonna be it done with ground training. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll see you guys later. Let me know if you guys want the study questions for the ground training, but I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, today is the last day of ATP CTP training before my written test. I gotta say the past few days has actually been fun. We've been doing a lot of simulation time. So that's been a lot of fun. The first day I did a sim on the Boeing 737 full motion so that was a ton of fun second day was on the Embraer 145 that was not the most fun it was a little boring honestly it's because on the simulator it's just screens there's no controls there's nothing for you to do so you're just touching stuff on the screen so that was not the best but today I'll be going on the sim on the A320 the Airbus so it's a flyby wire a little bit different control so I'm really excited for that but I'm still studying a lot for the Shepard Air because I want to make sure I do well on my written test so that's something I'm still going at it studying hard but gotta say overall ATP CTP training is a lot of fun first part of it eh, you're just sitting in class for eight or nine hours for four days afterwards is a lot more fun you're doing sim you do get a lot of downtime in the beginning you're sitting eight or nine hours but after that you're free for the rest of the day during sim depending on the time you have you only have to do the sim some people have sims four hour for that day and then they're done for the rest of the day so you do have a lot of downtime so let me keep you guys updated on my written test and the whole atp ctp training and i'll see you guys later